So one of you sent me this deck to play and said, Regis, this deck is made for you. It's perfect for you. And it's called Big Dumb Idiots. <laughs> Which, listen, if there's ever been a deck designed for me, Big Dumb Idiot in the name is very fitting. But this is a really cool list, actually. This is uh, Running Destroyer, who recently got buffed. Uh, he's been showing up a little bit more. He's in a similar space to Blob these days as that big, high-powered finisher six drop. And this deck uses a lot of those old Destroyer staples like Cosmo and Armor and zero in order to mitigate some of the downside risk of your destroyer alongside lots of other big dumb idiots you've got the blobs the ronins both warpath and atuma are 10 power all of which mean your scar can get discounted pretty significantly even your small cards like gladiator and maximus are still big dumb idiots because they're well overstated for their cost they have downsides but again you can mitigate those with Cosmo and uh, Zero. So this list was really fun. I didn't have the best win rate with it. I actually went eight and eight and exactly zero cubes. So I made <laughs> literally no progress, but I know I threw at least one game very specifically. And I think I threw a second one as well. So the list might've outperformed me a bit in this case, but nonetheless, very, very fun one. Uh, some cards you don't get to see every day with a Tuma Warpath and Destroyer and a name that is certainly very, very fitting. DC, zero can actually activate that, let's remember. Armor is zero, does that count? <laughs> it's, it's zero, zero. Uh, yeah, let me talk about zero Maximus might be pretty nice. This is maybe a good place to put like um, an Atuma, we get it. Maybe, maybe I find for all of our big cards, honestly, because we can like stuff this up and then destroy her elsewhere right it's it's maybe a little hard to stuff up because the armor is kind of uh in a weird spot but oh man yeah this is fine. i was gonna go here but not with pet mansion gladiator it's fine oh goodness uh, i'm feeling like maybe galactus is in order shang chi gone okay that makes me feel a lot better there's no ramp for their Galactus yet. Jeff could move and maybe make a Galactus, Galactus worse too. Um, uh oh, oh, not Viper. Oh no. I mean, I have Destroyer that can wipe all this out. I just don't have it yet. I mean, Galactus is not the threat at the moment though. So, uh, I mean, they can't, they can't Galactus here. I mean, they can win this, right? But then I'll just destroy your left or something. Maybe blob, whatever. It's not it's not ever Galactus that's a threat, and then Destroyer just like really helps me out right. It it foregoes mid, but maybe they think they've won. You know, maybe they think maybe they think uh right is just safe and then destroyer you know deletes negative nine. They might even like play Eliath here, sort of thing, right? Yep. Called it. Let's freaking go. That's satisfying, by the way. <laughs> to read their every move and have the perfect counter for it. That feels very good. That feels very good. <laughs> okay, Zero, you're chilling for now. Draw a card. It's good for Ronin. Human Torch, they might be trying to destroy that for a Phoenix Force. The problem is it can move. <laughs> so it's hard to know when or where. If it's, if it's, if they're going for a, like a Carnage right now, I can't stop it anyway. If they're going for a Venom, maybe I can stop it. If it's not a Phoenix Force, then we might be in trouble. If it's, you know, Ghost Spider comes in here or something, we might have a harder time. Although, I mean, I guess we can try to stop a Ghost Spider here, too. <laughs> Maybe Ghost Spider goes right because they're thinking about White Hot Room a little bit. Nope, nothing. Okay. Uh, I mean, Warpath right is totally fine. Could even go, like, Maximus Zero right. It's, it's a lot of power. Does the plus three energy feel compelling, though, I wonder? Oh, sure. It is indeed maybe going to have some, uh... Some stuff. Some, some, uh... Some Nimrod Venom stuff. Gotta figure out how to beat that. Lob, theoretically, is not very big, ever. 14. Destroyer's kinda big. Nimrods are 12. 
Maybe the venom goes here so you win this. I I don't know, man. I'm just saying this looks hard to win. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm saying this looks hard to win. I don't see it. Well, you can't actually destroy here, right? And you can't destroy here because of the Cosmo. So if you if you just like carnage here and then are we really looking at maybe only 12 on each side am i crazy to think that that's a possibility can we maybe just shore up like this scar plus a tuma it's 21 power that's a crazy final turn it's better than destroyer it's certainly better than blob he's only 11 i mean maybe let's see oh oh my goodness okay well that's a twist i wasn't expecting just a magic <laughs> just, just the two power magic yeah okay uh that's really the best play you had i guess huh the armor and cosmo did work uh yeah no we, we we were right just 12 and 12 yeah kind of accidentally landed perfectly on these it's a crazy final turn though man the tuma scar is nuts you can see why this scar is so good a four and a two is nice warpath and a tuma both as long as you design around your warpath you're kind of good to go Okay, so I wasn't, uh, <laughs> so I accidentally roped my opponent, but I wasn't recording, so you guys will never know unless I talk about it. Oh no. Yeah, I think uh, Maximus is just so cheap and efficient left. I'm totally fine with it. We've got a Ronin in the deck too, so we can actually sort of benefit as well, but but ultimately it's not, it's not even about that. Right? I think it's more about, um, oh man, Cosmo's good too. Nah, let's rip it, nah. Uh, it's it's just more about efficient power output, you know, two for six is very efficient, which is nice <sighs> We can maybe get like 18 there with an armor is like 21 or Cosmo destroyer is pretty good, too Oh, they discarded miss Marvel interesting. This is my second straight Zabu miss Marvel game. Oh my god, dude This freaking Ronin is nuts right now Nuts <laughs> all these Maximus into the Ronin top deck so beautiful Uh, it's probably blob right at the end of this game then right? He's big enough to carry, even though he's not his former his former self. Oh, the Ghost Rider into Miss Marvel. Oh, we're just gonna win mid for free, I guess. Uh I don't. Th th this is like they're only up six. This is definitely gonna be at least six. They're not gonna dump their entire hand, are they? Well, I say that, but they could have a Modok. Actually, it's not possible. Uh I think we're okay though. There is in theory a world where like you know i don't know maximus plus cosmo or something's a little better or maybe scar maximus actually is even better i don't think they're dumping their whole hand though it's weird because you actually feel like this is pretty good right because this is just so uncounterable you know they're like thinking maybe i can shang chi or something but we're going to 24 they need 10 power and be able to answer a scar so if you're like playing a shang chi here you're not playing 10 power here we didn't see Darkhawk stuff. They've already got the Miss Marvel active, so that's not adding any power. I think in a we in a weird way, this is is probably safer. I think this covers a little bit better because this is just so hard to counter. Not that the Ronin needs to be big or anything, but yeah, that's just not enough, right? Doesn't, I mean, is there any Hella disruption or anything? Well, they can't play Hella. Yeah, so they do indeed do the Shang Chi right. Yeah. This is two straight games against basically the exact same deck I've played here, and both times Shang-Chi right just didn't do enough. Yeah. Victory. Okay. Yeah, we like uh, Quake Machine World could be kind of funny, I guess. Maybe not too reliably good, but kind of funny. Nova, giving me a Nova. Okay, I don't really have a lot to do with that, I guess, but. Oh, Valley of the Hand, interesting. Uh. Surely this, surely this wrecks them, right? They're not destroying this yet. So hopefully this, this really stops them a lot. Yeah, Quake could definitely still be disruptive. I don't mind giving them an armor of their destroy deck, right? It's totally fine. <laughs> we, we, we're chill with that. Uh, Wolverine, Nova. I wish they would give me a, like, maybe I should have got a Venom first or something, but I need some priority. Let's go Gladiator so we don't give them Valley of the Hand. Gladiator right makes more sense. I mean, this could easily be a game where I stack up right with like Warpath Gladiator, Blob left, just boom, 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 we win. We're off to the races, you know? Boom, 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 as they say. Uh, Scar next turn seems great to me. This is protected from on reveals. Blob hopefully carries left. They're having a hard time. This is like Deadpool maybe stuff. I don't know. They're going to get some stuff back here, I'm sure, but it's all coming here is the thing. 
Can't destroy here, can't destroy here, so. Venom? Forge, oh. Interesting, I could actually quake here. So that no, oh, do I have priority? I do, so that nowhere moves here. And they try to do like a Venom or whatever, and they can't. It's, it's actually beautiful. Uh, this honor reveal is gonna go off, I guess. Oh no, it's not, I silenced it. No, no, we're good, yeah, this is fine. And then we just blob the finish, maybe? I don't know, they're snapping, they're confident, man. I don't know, I'm like, now I'm nervous. What's happening here? I'm they made me nervous. Our blob is always pretty good, man. Pretty good. Let's see. What did they do? Let's see. <laughs> I think they were gonna maybe like, you know, set up for a big valley of the hand bounce, but now they lose it. Blob is what? Minimum 16, maximum 29. Honestly, average is in between there because if we hit these two, we're still good, yeah. 26 a lot of the time, 19 sometimes. I mean, it's pretty high anyway. Big is the answer, it's big. As long as we think 24 is safe, which there's no like null, there's no Deadpool. I mean, we are exposed to Shang-Chi, right? But we don't really expect to see that necessarily. Um, we think usually right is safe. Yeah, we low rolled 16 is the worst case scenario. <clears throat> but how do they beat even 16? We were already in a good spot. Zero kill mark. Really surprised they thought that was remotely competitive. Uh, adding only six power left. I mean, we already had nine. Wait, yeah, we already tied. Wait. Yeah, that doesn't really track. I would have to play basically nothing. Yeah, I don't know. We'll take it. It's not a bot, right? It's not supposed to be bots. I mean, their plays were fine. Okay, opponent uh, did a little Spider-Man on me. They might recognize the name a little bit, I guess. Who knows? Sometimes that happens. Uh, Hood, we can prevent that from being destroyed, maybe. Might be more bounce, though, too. I don't know. Cyclops, not high Evo, we would think. Yeah, maybe we'll try to stop it from being destroyed. That's kind of fun. So, uh, Gladiator on three is chill. We got Cosmo synergies. We got, uh, man, I've played so many Zabu decks tonight. What is the deal? I haven't seen, I mean, Zabu's, you know, always kind of around a little, but he's around a lot tonight for some reason. I've seen so, like, three straight Zabu Miss Marvels, man. What's going on? Oh, that's, you guys probably just heard that Discord ping. I forgot I have streamer mode turned off. Uh-oh. Gonna be mad at me. That's gonna be mad at me. Uh oh, <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, Tuma's probably just safer here. Werewolf by night, cool. This card, you guys remember how busted this card was at three? Still pretty good at four. Craziness. So, Scar next turn's fine. We can actually go Scar zero as well. It's usually always fine if we turn off our six drop. Well, I guess Blob, that's not true. I guess we can silence the Scar to be safe, but then that makes Destroyer a little bit worse. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. Let's see what we draw, maybe get some data here. Uh, okay, there's another hood. Rude. Uh, oh, Maximus is totally fine as a 2-6. Yeah, this is a pretty good deck against Spider-Ham in general, I would say. Uh, Quake. This Tower Werewolf's funny. Like, th this could actually be fairly disruptive, honestly. Uh, this is a way to make the scar two cost next turn. I can go like two, two, two. It's kind of interesting. Maybe we could still play a zero in that case. Scar, I don't know where it would go. They shouldn't have too much power left because the werewolf gets smaller as it goes left, right? Uh, I mean, the demons are, are, are still big, I guess, but not that big. Beast again on those two. So they can't get another demon out of that. But they can certainly... Well, they're not bouncing mid either. So how big can mid really get? Oh, man. There was indeed that uh, destroyer we talked about. <sighs> this is just smaller, right, than, than the other plan. It's kind of weird because I don't actually really want to quake. I kind of want the werewolf to not be able to gain as much power here.
So it's like, I don't really want to switch. I mean, I know the werewolf can't move here and gain a separate So here is really the only threat. So in a weird way, the, the quake is kind of a pain. Like I, I could play it left, I, I guess, but then I feel like I don't have enough power there too. Maybe this is okay. This is still a lot of power. If it moves, it's only what, 12, 24? This hurts the warpath though. Oh, that's not right. No, this whole thing feels wacky, dude. No, I don't, I, don't, I actually don't know that. Forget the werewolf, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's staying there. Yeah, it is staying there, okay. <laughs> this was the right move then, I think. Although, I, I, maybe the scar still goes left, actually, because we know they shouldn't have that much power mid. I think maybe the scar goes left. I think I got too caught up here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Atuma's dead, buddy. Oh, I got wrecked across every, every region. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Uh, good early game. Asteroid M. Uh, okay. Yeah, we can uh, we can hit Nebula up. Sure. We don't really want to play armor into a gladiator spot, though. I mean, armor Cosmo Atuma's a fine-ish curve, I guess. If we want to keep this nebula... Oh, dude. Lemuria, bro. Yeah, I mean, suddenly it's looking like a pretty good curve because we can just go Atuma, Scar, load up left, and then just win wherever else with Blob, right? Blob is still, in this deck at least, got that kind of I win button a lot of the time. He feels like it anyway. All right, Limbo, okay. That does make Nebula a little more annoying and potentially uh, notably larger. I think we stick to Atuma. This game is just all left. Cyclops, huh, bro? It's like, we're really committed into this and it's stressing me out, man. It also means Scar is back to normal cost, which sucks. I mean, we can we can finish with a destroyer there, I guess. Um, is it is it Gladiator or Warpath? We're going destroyer on six, maybe. Well, probably Warpath. Blob on six, destroyer on seven, right? So maybe Warpath still okay. It does again kind of show our hand a little bit, but not too much. The problem is going to be beaten. Uh, you know, big hulks and stuff. This blob is also just a fixed value that's very small. That was the best draw for our blob, I guess. He's only 14, really, man? What a garbage blob. I mean, he's, he's barely bigger than Scar. He doesn't even make Scar or Destroyer any good next turn, right? Boy, I just really don't feel great about this. If I play a Gladiator here, Nebula goes to 12. Probably always just a big thing. Oh no, it's not even going off. What am I saying? No, 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 don't be stupid. Yeah, this turn sucks, man. We're, this blob is just a little too small to be interesting. Uh, just too small to be interesting. Only 14. So then it's a question is like, Scar plus Gladiator plus Quake actually a good play? have to imagine have to imagine this like I want to I want to flip left but like surely they play there at least a little bit right maybe we can afford to put the gladiator there still just to check it a little since we're playing so many cards if they play infinite it's probably gonna go here she hulk here 21 Shield puts them at 23. It's just not even enough. That doesn't even count for the Cyclops roll off. I actually think this is the best way to win it, but I don't think we win. I think Infinite She Hulk beat us. God, the Croce is hurting me even more because I didn't play a card here. <laughs> Dang it, dude. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Don't be big. Okay, that's fine. That's the saving grace. Uh, uh, oh, okay. 
It is Infinite She-Hulk, as we described, but it's a Hulk Infinite that is one point too small. Oh my god. Victory. I mean... Was that skillful or lucky? I don't know, man. Onslaught Citadel, insane for Warpath and Ronin, actually. They could, like, single-handedly carry that, maybe. Just load up an armor there or something. Lab we can get later with Blob. It would be nice to get a Warpath. Maybe we skip Lab if we're gonna go Warpath, right? Um, yeah, this is actually okay. We can Quake out of Necrotia or, or just play big stuff too, maybe. I don't know. Both, both might work, actually. What is snapping based on Necrotia and Citadel? Uh, scariest decks for Citadel are definitely like, you know, Onslaught, Iron Man, Tribunal stuff. That's always really scary in Citadel. Oh man, I almost played that Cosmo there. They would have been wrecked. Like, actually wrecked. If I have time to play Ronin, they're gonna be in trouble, I think. I guess an Enchantress would own me. But otherwise, they're in trouble. I mean, I'd still have 10 power. It's not great, but it's not nothing. Uh, I mean, there's no Hobgoblin yet, so that's good news. Like Widow's actually chill. We don't really care. We have enough to win with... Oh, actually, we don't because... um. I don't have a blob. I need a big card like a destroyer. I mean, I guess I can play blob mid. It just makes the warpath a lot worse. If we think Ronin can carry, then blob mid might be okay. Alternatively, we're going to have a pretty cheap Scar that could go right. Like Scar Maximus or something. I think they're probably thinking about Hobgoblin now, whether they do it or not. <laughs> like, does he fill? Does he fill the Onslaught Citadel a turn early? I'm gonna tell you right now, he does, Robbie Fox. He does. That's not Hobgoblin. You couldn't play those both, right? Hood, okay. Oh, magic. Oh, that's actually pretty spooky. My power output just dramatically reduced left, and I'm like locked in on it. Yeah, I mean, I guess Blob's fine. Hopefully, we keep a good card, like a scar or something for zero. Like, we hit, you know, I don't know, Gladiator into Destroyer. Or actually, the perfect hit would be zero, Gladiator destroyer although I, honestly zero gladiator scar would also be pretty good top thinking destroyer would be nice right so yeah we still have a good blob here this is pretty good i'm worried a little bit about left obviously but this is typically not an archetype that has a lot of power output so you know if it's like a nihilist stuff for instance um they may not be able to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with power left now that said if they do play like an nihilist and <sighs> You know, hood comes over right. I might not have enough. What did I hit? I don't know, but this is surely off, right? Surely. The Crocia. I don't actually know if it helps me or not. Probably gonna. I'm, I'm winning all three right now, honestly. So that is a big blob, by the way. It hit. It hit so much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They don't have it. I guess if, even if they had like a strong chi, we're still just covered elsewhere so hard. Plus 14 here. Um, Ronin is not going to get any bigger off this Maximus, but it's big enough anyway. We're up 17, so. Cloning Vance Gladiator can be pretty fun. <laughs> Just ripping through all their cards. <laughs> Probably not very good, but fun anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, getting in a Tuma Ronin down makes Scar pretty good on the final turn. Maybe Gladiator Scar final turn sort of thing. DC, we can actually silence a card with zero and put it in DC. You have no abilities, so. Could be a bonus. Also, of course, it's good for a Tuma too, if we could find that line. They're going for more Jeffs. A lot of Jeffs. Blue Marvel is dead. See ya, buddy. See ya. Right. <laughs> Do we just keep doing this? It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. It's fun. <laughs> they might fill this up, but it's that's fine too, right? <laughs> then I just get a 3-8. That's okay. So we probably still just go Ronin and then maybe like Scar Atuma on the final turn, right? Soulstone's gone. All these ongoings just murdered. Let's go. Oh, wave. Uh, does that change anything for me? Man, I kind of just like, like Gladi <laughs> Dude, I kind of like Gladiator Maximus better because it's so fun and it still makes the... Um, Still makes the Ronin kind of nuts. I wish I had a, a zero this game, though, man. I guess my hand's too full for that. I don't know, dude. I mean, I think Ronin's really the, the right play, isn't it? And then you have Maximus Atuma to finish, 
I think that's the right play. Cloning Vats keeping their hand extra full too. Is this ever Galactus? I wonder. Did I mess up here? Oh, it is. Shoot. Well, I guess if they have Eliath, we lose. But I don't know. Maybe we just rip a destroyer and call it a day. Why not? Just be fun with it. Let's make them have it, you know? They're hesitating as if Eliath is not a given here. Oh, well, okay. Just bad. Yay, it's so fun! Oscorp Tower could be a surprising play with Quake, actually. If they like play something here and we just Quake it away. Does that happen now? Do we want to agree to three drop to go with it? I, I kind of miss my on curve three if I play Quake on three. That wouldn't be the most viable card to steal, would it? Am I gonna? Oh, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna play. Breaking news. Uh, it would be very funny if they played Electro, thinking they're gonna give it to me. Oh my gosh, Blob. They're Cosmo. They're probably gonna play Cosmo actually, right? Well, no, they got four energy now. I don't know what they're gonna play, but. Um, Maybe they play it here and I get to steal a card, right? What if I do this? I think they're gonna play it here, right? They don't play it next to the Psylocke. And then I steal their four drop. All right, we steal whatever their big thing is here. Come on, oh, come on, dude. No, do it. <laughs> we both have the same idea. They kind of wasted a silo. That's my quake too. Oh, they saw my quake, so they knew what was up. Oh man, that's really unlucky. That's super, super unlucky, I feel like. That sucks. They kind of got a freebie there, I would say. That's lame. Super scroll. Okay, that definitely makes Ronin a little riskier than I'd like. Nebula gone, that's fine. Uh... I mean, Cosmo becomes pretty intriguing. Like we can sort of Cosmo every every location in this case. Do we actually, well, yeah, we can't play Ronin, we decided, right? Well, we don't want to Cosmo every location though because we have Blob who's probably very good. We just also don't want to Ronin. It kind of gives them Super Scroll for free, perhaps. Cosmo Destroyer is pretty good too, though, to be honest. Maybe we just do that. Destroyer's almost as big as Blob, right? That's kind of why he's here. You have multiple giant threats. I am. Iron Man. Ooh. I mean, how does Iron Man win this, though? What are they going for? Like, maybe a Onslaught? What's the, what's the plan here? Absolutely don't understand. I 100% don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> I don't even want to win though, I'll tell you that. We're not very good. Uh, oh, I picked the wrong side maybe here. Oh wait, they just didn't. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this happens sometimes where like, you, you gotta you gotta play to this if you know you're losing. I guess you're losing in all three. So I, 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 I think they didn't realize maybe this was a Cosmo, right? But they should have, right? Because the, 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 the Maximus should have been turned off, right? Assuming this updated when I thought it did. I mean, maybe the Super Scroll doesn't update during my flips. Because like this reveals, my assumption is that the Super Scroll updated and then the Maximus does not work because this has a Cosmo. But maybe, I don't know. I, I didn't check hand size. I just kind of trusted. Maybe it didn't work and they thought it wasn't a Cosmo or they forgot. I guess they were going to pull Gladiator here. Even that's a tie, though. I still would have won. Oh, no, they would have pulled Gladiator and Cosmo. But I had priorities, so my Destroyer would have been fine. I don't know. 